Have you ever wondered and appreciated how honest and truthful politicians are? Honest politicians like Nicola Sturgeon. <laughs> I'm sure you can sense the sarcasm in my tone. Basically, we have the upcoming election in Scotland and uh, Nicola Sturgeon's come out to bribe a certain groups of people. Now, we're going to give you the example of what she's doing, who she's bribing and why. The desperation in the SNP campaign is uh, showing itself first. Let's go to what Nicola Sturgeon, Queen Nicola, is up to. Apparently, she now has vowed to abolish <laughs> the problems that we have in the education system. Not that she's controlled the government until now, not that she's been first minister, but she's bribing kids, well, technically not kids, their parents. She's vowed to give every Scottish child a free laptop <laughs> in schools. Uh, this is a £350 million policy that will see all children from primary school and secondary school uh, to receive uh, this uh, digital divide, uh, well, to obviously de destroy this digital divide. Now, I'm going to give you more because that's not the only thing. That's not just the bribery that we are seeing. Uh, it gets much worse than this because in this issue, she's targeting the middle class parents who uh, obviously need to upgrade their child's MacBook. And uh, now they're going to get something new. But Queen Nicola is also smart. So around £260 million will be spent on buying these uh, laptops and tablets uh, for uh, students, kids at school, so their parents could vote for the SNP. As I said, Queen Nicola is smart. A further £90 million will go towards teachers uh, to, to provide more training and internet infrastructure. So on the one hand, she's bribing uh, the parents of all these kids. And on the other hand, she's also bribing teachers who have been recently considering to vote for either the Scottish Labour Party or the Green Party or the new Alba Party. Uh, so she wants to ensure that they know that the First Minister cares about Scotland and the education system. Not, I don't know what she was doing until now, but that's one thing. Again, Nicola Sturgeon has also vowed to completely end child poverty. Yeah, she's going to end child poverty in Scotland considering she and her government have been responsible uh, for increasing child poverty. Also, there's a whole debate when it comes to child poverty and poverty in general. You've got absolute and you've got relative. The, the, the politicians and the states always play around with the numbers. So they make uh, relative uh, poverty look worse than what it is. And so that's a whole different debate. But when it comes to uh, child poverty, she's vowed that the next parliament, her mission is to completely abolish it. Interestingly enough, uh, what's been happening is that she's decided uh, the, her government can't currently give uh, £10 a week uh, to low-income families. So that's another group that she wants to bribe. By what? Instead of £10, giving them £20. That's going to end child poverty. Yeah, that's it. But £20 a week, everyone's fine now. Not sure how she, uh, she knows uh, how poverty works and how the solution works because I have been... Uh, in uh, poverty. I ha I know exactly how it feels. You can't have a short-term plaster and uh, be like, well, that's it. Well, the state is giving you, you know, more benefits, a bit more, not even that much. So you should be fine now. No, that's not how you tackle poverty, uh, whether it's relative or whether it's uh, absolute poverty. But she thinks that certain low-income families will then thank the First Minister for this bribery. Now, on the other hand, the most astonishing policy is Nicola Sturgeon coming out to offer NHS staff a 4% pay rise. Why? Because Boris Johnson is giving a 1% pay rise uh, in England. Uh, so Nicola Sturgeon thinks, well, the best thing to do is to use this as a political tool because the NHS is just there as a political football to be used for politicians from all sides. And this is absolutely disgusting what she's doing here because she doesn't care about how the healthcare system is operating in Scotland. Otherwise, she would have done something about it. Her party would have done something about it. Clearly, that's not the idea. The idea is that there's an election coming up and she wants to make sure everybody is uh, given all these promises. Some of them will be empty promises. We know that they say that this settlement will be backdated to the 1st of December 2020 in recognition of an exceptional year of significant pressure. Now, this follows this £500 thank you payment, the bonus 
that the NHS staff uh, were to receive in November. The first minister announced in November that the NHS staff will receive this £500 bonus. What happened to that money? Because it took ages until some of the staff finally received that bonus. Some never received it. Some are still waiting. I'm sure this 4% pay rise will be questioned as well. We have no idea what the SNP are doing with the money that they're receiving from Westminster. Uh, but all the promises they made, they're not being delivered. Now, she's also bribing the SNP supporters, not the loyal ones, the ones who are wavering right now, especially with the Alba party and uh, Alex Salmond coming up. She's now saying she's attacking politicians who put self-interest above the national interest. So I'm well, she's she's attacking herself. <laughs> How is that going to help the SNP supporters who are considering uh, to go with an uh, Alex Salmond's party to go back to the SNP? This is desperation, absolute desperation that we are seeing from Nicola Sturgeon. Speaking of this desperation, look at this. <laughs> Stephen Graham uh, tweeted this when uh, the Alba party was announced, saying uh, that they can't wait for the SNP to claim that the Alba party launch has given them another 10,000 members. This was uh, 2 p.m. on the 26th of March. Uh-oh, look at this. <laughs> 29th of March, the SNP claimed that the membership has been increasing since the Alba party was launched. Brilliant. Absolutely amazing work. Queen Nicola and her PR minions are very, very good at communication. What is happening? Where is the mainstream media? Every single thing that I showed you, all these examples, you would expect the mainstream media to question them. Why is she doing it now? Why is she promising all these free unicorns and laptops and everything? No, they're just announcing them. They're just giving them uh, her more platform and her time to just come up with all these lies and empty promises once again, like every election, and get away with it. It doesn't look good for Scottish politics. It's not fair on Scottish people and the culture of our democracy in general. Uh, so while the SNP are now claiming that the party is doing so well and they're not divided and they have a lot of money to waste, apparently, uh, considering the finances in the, uh, the Scottish government, don't look too good. We just wait for Nicola Sturgeon to win another election. Uh, we'll see what happens in the upcoming election, but uh, we know that the support for uh, Scottish independence has come down massively. Now, uh, you might have, some of you might have missed uh, last night's live stream, uh, and I mentioned we are having some problems on this site. Uh, we are being challenged, uh, videos are not being shared. And uh, so, we, you know, there's this target that's been going on. I can't, you know, obviously you, you know how it works for certain conservative leaning channels on this site and certain other platforms as well. Uh, so we definitely need your support. If you want this channel to continue, uh, then you have to, we have to work together as a family. A lot of you have been very, very good at this. Uh, I'm going to explain more in the next uh, few videos, but the best thing you can do for now is by becoming a member of this channel for only 16p a day. 16p, that's a lot cheaper than uh, Nicola Sturgeon's new uh, benefit payment. Uh, we can uh, be part of our uh, YouTube family and by uh, becoming a member, you will receive a, an access to our weekly Q&As, which will be in the next video. I'll answer the questions we received from the members this week. Uh, also regular video calls with me and Lacey uh, and also our new newsletter, weekly newsletter that we send out to the members and a number of other uh, benefits as well. So definitely check out the link in the description. Uh, or just find the join button next to subscribe. It's only 16p a day, uh, a lot cheaper than a newspaper or the BBC's TV tax. Uh, check it out. And uh, as you know, finally, lockdown is almost over. As of today, stay at home is over. And if we go with what the government has promised us, then soon we can start your events. Soon you can have your weddings and parties and you can go back to the, your offices. Now, you know, I've mentioned some of you, you know that my mother used to work in the NHS as a nurse and she left to uh, start her own uh, f um, business in a flower arrangement. Uh, that was her passion. That's what you know, she used to do in the past. And uh, she's now part of the British Florist Association. Um, she started this business during the lockdown, which is a big risk. And uh, she obviously, I'm just going to do a sh shout out because obviously we have to support small British businesses. It's not really a paid ad. Uh, but uh, she's given me a discount code, MT10, 
Uh, if you guys have any upcoming weddings, parties, any events, uh, also corporate contracts, uh, if you have an like, office or some sort of venue that you want regular uh, flowers, uh, definitely check out the link in the description or also in the pinned comment and uh, use the discount code MT10 and support a small British business. Thanks again for watching. I'm Maya Tusi. I'll see you guys in the next video.